What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel, King Lister TV. I'm here today on this rainy Tuesday night to bring you another uh, another edition of Troy's Top 5. Uh, today's date is June 18, 2019. Six years ago today, uh, J. Cole's Born Center album dropped. It was his sophomore album. Hence why I'm rocking the Dreamville hoodie today. Today's topic will be a J. Cole topic. It'll be Troy's top five songs off the Born Center album. Again, a little background on the Born Center album. It was It's kind of a forgotten album by J. Cole. It's not his debut album, and it's the one before 2014, Forest Hill Drives, which is his most popular album. So I think a lot of times people forget just how good Born Center is. It's honestly a great listen from start to finish. If I could recommend you to go, go to listen to any hip-hop album today, I would tell you to go check out Born Sinner and listen to it from start to finish. If listening to an album start to finish is not your cup of tea, you don't have the time to do that, and I can just give you five songs off the album that, to me, prove why it's one of his best albums, and good five songs to give you an idea of what the album are about. Hopefully, these Troy's top five tonight will give you an idea of what the album is about. So, let's hop right into it. My number five uh, top song off J. Cole's Born Center album is She Knows. She Knows is a track that has it's a pretty standard track, solid beat and uh, you know, verse and, and chorus and goes so 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 on and so on. I remember that actually what caught me to the song first was the video. The video is uh about two teen boys who are skipping school and they're um they're just kind of going about, you know, a normal teen day. They're kind of, you know, skate park. They're, you know, smoking a little marijuana. They're doing different kind of things. But the one boy definitely catches his mother having an affair by, with a guy who is played by J. Cole, actually, in the video. And he keeps a secret from his dad. The whole song itself, if you listen to the lyrics of the song, is about infidelity. It's about uh, being in a relationship with somebody who you probably don't deserve and you want to be that good man for her but yet you still get caught in the you know with you know in, in the in the in the side life with uh other women and it's, it's all about infidelity and just struggling with it and the fact that she knows that's hence the title of the song she knows so moving right along my number four song off the born center album is power trip featuring miguel not much i can say about the song other than the fact that it is a great Hip hop and R and B cut. You know, a lot of times when you do the rap and R and B, one side loses off a little bit. Either the rap lacks or the R and B lacks a little bit in in favor of the other genre. But this is one of those songs where J Cole has great verses and his parts to the hooks is really well, and Miguel's voice and his 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 uh, addition to the hooks are is also really really well. It's just a really really great song. I mean, who wasn't, you know. Um, posting captions back in 2013 with you know lyrics in that song i mean it was everywhere I remember it was a really huge song and as for the lead singles of this album which is crooked smile um power trip and i believe miss america well, miss america was a promotional single but at the two major ones which were crooked smile and power trip power trip was always the favorite of my two even though i did a crooked smile too but um power trip was the one that made the list for the top five okay moving right along my number three song from the born center album would be let nas down this honestly could have been number one it's just a preference Thing for me personally i mean let Nas down it tells a great story it's about you hear the story of, of cole's come up he's 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 reminding you of the things he went through with his two first major mixtapes which were uh the warm-up and then friday night lights and off and leading into his debut album a sideline story and he just talks about how when he was making his music and crafting his music he couldn't get a a date to drop his first album because he didn't have a true hit and he was trying to find a hit trying to find a hit he talks about you know being you know jay-z's number two and how jay won't put the album out unless he has a a hit and he ends up coming up with that hit which is workout if you ever heard the song workout which samples the um classic paula abdul song if you ever heard the workout song from uh sideline story you know why it's a hit i mean it's very pop friendly really very radio friendly it's a very poppy song and the song Let Nas Down was basically when he tells the story about him making that hit, but how when he made that hit, he kind of sold part of his soul and how it let Nas down. Nas is one of his favorite rappers of all time. I mean, J. Cole is a guy who was born in 1985. He wrote, you know, listened to 90s rap, you know, Pac and, and Biggie and, and Nas and early Jay-Z. So for him and to Nas, Nas, you know, he talks about Nas being a fan of his and how 
when Nas heard that song, he was like, you know, why'd you make that? You know, you're supposed to be the chosen one. And the rest of the song just kind of goes on to talk about, you know, Cole's, you know, destiny as a, as a hip hop artist and what he's meant to do. And I think, you know, if you listen to words from back then in 2013, you can kind of still see like he's still on that path to do it in 2019. So it's just pretty cool. It's a really good song. And I kind of give you the whole vibe. If any one song from the album gives you a whole vibe of the album, Let Nas Down is probably the one song I would say. Number two for me, probably could be number one. It's a song called Is She Gone Pop? Originally, it wasn't even on the original copy of Born Sinner. It was actually technically on, it was supposed to be Truly Yours EP3. Um, but it was on the deluxe, the deluxe version of uh, Born Sinner. I remember when the album first came out, I didn't even hear the song actually at first. I heard a song later, years later when I worked at Foot Locker. A kid I knew was playing it over the speakers. And I was like, this is a Cole song. I heard it before, but I couldn't remember where. And he told me it was on Born Sinner. I'm like, what? And I'm looking through it. And I realized on the deluxe version of the album, this is one of the songs on there. So I, the reason why I didn't give it number one is because it's not on the regular official album versions on the deluxe version but is she gonna pop is just a it's a great song i mean the hook isn't very too hooky it's not too chorusy it's it's just kind of like street bars and cole just raps in kind of a, a style you don't have to hear him rap too much about you know sexual in the and 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 things like that he never really raps like that so it was just, it's a different kind of cold song but it to me is just straight fire. I think it's just, it's a really really good song and there's so many like lines and stuff in that song you'll hear and be like man that just sticks with you. So that's definitely my number two and number one for me is Land of the Snakes. Now it was tough because you know I left songs off like Crooked Smile and Voluminati and of course Forbidden Fruit featuring uh, Kendrick Lamar. There's so many good songs on the Born Center album, but to me Land of the Snakes has always been one of my favorites since my first listen ever to the album back in 2013, and you know, it's just always been one of my favorite songs you know solid 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 beat solid chorus solid verses just a solid song all right solid j cole song all around i think my favorite part of the song is the beat breakdown in about the 240 mark the beat kind of switches up and the last minute and a half of the song is a kind of a different beat that you you ride out to and j cole raps about an interaction with a girl that he saw um, recently that he hadn't seen since college it's a girl he hooked up with in college and how he saw her and and uh, he's not proud of how he handled things in college and how she sees right through anything he's saying for because of how he handled her situation with her in the past. And it's just, it's just one of those things that, you know, I was in college at the time when this album dropped and I remember hearing it and just kind of thinking to myself, like, what interactions I do now, will they, will I ever be in a moment like that later down the road where like, oh man, I see somebody I know and like they see right through me because of an interaction we did in the past. It's just one of those, those, those moments in the song that kind of just stick with you and you kind of just drift towards forever, really, basically. But yes, so those are my top five. Again, um, She Knows, Power Chip, Let Nas Down, Is She Gonna Pop, and Land of the Snakes. My top five songs off J. Cole's Born Center album. You can find it probably on any uh, streaming platform. I use Spotify, so if you guys want to check out the album, please feel free. By the way, tomorrow I plan on doing another choice top five about one of my other favorite artists, which is Drake. Um, if you guys want to, in the comments below, let me know your choices. My three choices are top five Drake R&B songs, top five Drake projects, which is albums and mixtapes, or top five songs that feature Drake. So again, below, I'll leave comments with those choices there. Like and uh, let me know what you want to see me do tomorrow. Uh, for the Drake topic for Choice Top 5. Anyways, that's it for today, guys. Again, if you like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. You know the deal, baby. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.